Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. On this episode, we finally got our parts in we needed so we can get that quarter burnt in. So we're going to get all the inner structure welded in there. We're going to get the quarter welded on. We're going to get everything in body work and we're going to get a coat of primer on it. Let's get this thing burnt in so we can get this thing back on the road. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions about anything we're doing. And uh, check the description for links to products we're using, tools we're using, anything else we find cool. Let's get this thing burnt in and let's get this car finished up. All right, we're getting the uh, lower wheelhouse piece cleaned up and fitted and make sure everything's fitting right where it belongs. Getting it ground down so we got a nice surface to weld to. Getting it clamped into place and making sure it lines up well with the quarter everywhere. Making sure it doesn't push our door gap at alignment. And then once we got that lower wheelhouse piece, we realized that the upper wheelhouse, outer wheelhouse, was a little kinked and bent in there. So we needed to hammer that straight. Okay, we're getting that inner structure piece put back in there, making sure all that lines up and fits well. We needed to move it over a little bit so it wasn't inhibiting the door gap from looking right. And we're just getting everything clamped into place, making sure it sits where it needs to before we weld it in. Now we're just grinding all the primer off of it and we're going to get everything sprayed with a couple coats of zinc weld through. After the weld through dries, we're able to start welding this piece in. Once we get it welded in, we coated it with zinc weld through along with the wheelhouse piece. Now we're just prepping the rest of the surfaces to be welded while we wait for the primer to dry. Get all these areas prepped and hit them with a coat of weld through. Now it's time to burn in the lower wheelhouse extension. Again, that Harbor Freight spot welder works fantastic. I can't believe how well it works. See the cardboard there we put against the lines just to give us a little bit of insulation so we didn't arch those lines because it was a pretty tight fit getting it in there. Got this bad boy welded in here. That spot welder from Harbor Freight again, totally worth the money. Um, wanted to be careful to stay away from any of these lines, um, so I put a little piece of cardboard up there to insulate it so that it didn't arc to it. Um, was able to get all the way across here. Alrighty, we got everything ground down. Uh, got some some holes punched in there where we're not going to be able to use a spot welder and then again along in here and had to drill a bunch of holes in the door jam area on the back side got everything ground down and got it hit up with some uh, zinc weld through primer so I think it's ready to start burning in. All right, well we got the quarter all clamped in and screwed into place and it's fitting pretty good. Test fitted the bumper, the tail light, made sure all that stuff was good. We got it fitting really good with the door. Um, so it's time to start burning it in. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just start with the spot welder and do all the fun easy stuff because it is a lot easier to use that thing than it is to use that crappy welder, so. All right, now we're grinding down the paint on the inside of the inner structure, the UNI side, so that we got a nice clean surface for the welder to arc to. And we're starting to spot weld the quarter in. I got a hot one there in my shoe, so I had to kick it off. 
down here in the inner wheel well area. I needed to sand the paint off of the top of the outer wheelhouse in order to get a good connection with the welder. Once that was done, we just clamp it down in place and work our way around. As long as you got good clean metal and the metal's tight together, that spot welder works like a dream. Okay, now we're starting to burn it in with the old Miller Cricut. Notice I'm blowing air on it after every time I do a weld. That's just to help cool it down so that we don't have any warp issues with it. Because that welder does put a lot more heat in the panel than the spot welder does. So we want to make sure we keep it cool in between welds so not to warp it. And we're going to start tacking in the uh, top there and again we're just going an inch or so apart and then cooling it off until so we get the whole thing welded off. Now we're filling in the uh, holes in the door jam and weld it into the unit structure. Now we're just cleaning up our welds with a cutoff tool. Just grinding them down smooth. And then we come back with a grinder with a flat disc on it and just kind of clean it all up. Alright guys, got the quarter all welded on. Except for I ran out of wire obviously last night. So, and I got a couple little spots I got to fill in, got it all welded and ground down. So I think the next step, while I'm waiting to go get some wire, we'll get this cleaned up here. Get some kitty hair on that and smooth that out a little bit. And the, uh, the wheel well lip arch uh, warped to just a little bit when I was squeezing it up to clamp it. So I'm probably going to smooth that out just a little bit just to make that a little smoother. I did notice over here on this side that the factory had a similar issue. But um, there was a couple spots where it burned through to the metal when I was sanding on this. So there's a spot weld right below that. So when they pinched it, it just puckered a little bit. So I'll get that smoothed out and we'll start getting some mud on. Alright, we're getting some kitty hair applied right now. And while that's drying, we're going to test fit the window to make sure it fits and everything fits good. So now it's time to get the kitty hair roughed in with the DA. And get it ready for a little body filler. Alright, smearing some body filler on the wheel ball arch and everywhere else we welded the quarter in at and now it's time for blocks it. Block sand in the wheel well arch, making sure we get rid of all those little warped areas. Applying another coat to that just to tighten it up. Now we got all that sanded and we are scuffing everything because it is about ready for primer. Making sure we scuff all the shine off of any parts, especially the original clear coat. We don't want to have any uh, shiny spots where the paint won't stick and we could end up with some lift issues. Now we're applying seam sealer. We're knocking it down and making it nice and smooth. And we're just trying to fill in every single lap joint and any open spaces where water um, and road debris could accumulate and ruin our new bodywork. So, all right. Fast forward three hours, we've got everything pretty well taped off and masked and scuffed. So it's time to mix up a little primer, put some high build on those areas there that still need a little bit of work. Do the high build here and here and in this wheel well arch and probably just 
shoot a whole coat on this just just so it's painted or primed and then we'll do another coat on this door also so to finish taping this door off I guess so I'll get to scuffing and taping and mixing primer okay we've got everything wet sanded sanded down 400 grit and fixed a couple little spots I ended up having to respray this side again because there's a little nick right there I wasn't happy with and then again in this door right here there's a couple pinholes when we laid it flat you could see it so it's ready to spray so that's what we're gonna do all right guys that's gonna be a wrap for this one we got all our parts in we got the quarter burned on uh, we got everything body worked and then primer uh, so now the next step is get this thing in paint, but you're gonna have to stay tuned to the next episode to see what that looks like So thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one